Rachel Hicks, emergency department nurse, and I've been a nurse for 12 years. I left here in August of 2015 and took a school year off to be with my kids, which was phenomenal. And um, took a little stint to another few hospitals, just PRN. Uh, teamwork here is second to none. It is just all around. We have great effort. We work together. And then administrative support here is hands down the best. I've worked at several different other facilities uh, and administrative support here is just um, unremarkable. And I, you have actual support. You see your leaders. They come help you and, and things like that that sometimes you don't see at other facilities. My name is Christina Leisnering. I'm the clinical services manager for the emergency department and I've been with UAMS for eight years. I think the biggest thing Rachel brings is that she's a mentor to the staff. She has a lot of nursing experience and a vast amount of knowledge that she brings. She's very willing to share that information. She's currently a preceptor for new graduate nurses and a skills proctor for our annual education for new and experienced nurses. So yeah, I think that along with her knowledge and experience now coming back, you know, she brings a fresh perspective and she has that experience in a leadership role here at UAMS. So I think as she continues to get re-immersed and she's part of our unit-based council in the PNO structure at UAMS that you know, she'll use that knowledge and fresh perspective to help us improve our processes. I said the other other hospitals I didn't encounter some of the some of the things that the the teamwork and administrative support weren't there like that you see here at UAMS. And we're a teaching facility so we foster that uh, whereas other the private facilities aren't so much there um, but we foster that educational support so you get the more teamwork just to get get in and get things done and then that way you you know you're finished and we're all still learning at the same time also. So. Rachel was a trusted colleague. She was dependable. Things sometimes get very sticky, you know, in the ED and I think working beside her you always knew that she was she was there pulling her weight and helping us trudge forward, you know, and get out of whatever situation that we were in. Okay. Specifically, I can speak to a time where we had a critical patient come in at another facility I worked at, and uh, the response was not great. I was actually the most um, experienced person in the room, and so we intubated the patient very quickly, but ended up that I had to stay an hour and a half after my shift because no one was in there to help me chart or to do things, so I had to go back and you know get all that stuff together and return the crash cart and do the airway box and those things that actually, you know, ultimately I was responsible for, but I really feel like here, we our charge nurse helps um, facilitate those things like returning the crash cart and the airway box so that those things are taken care of on the back end and we just have to take care of the charting on the forefront. But then we we have people that come in and help with the teamwork. So you have somebody that's helping with medications, someone that's documenting, um, and then someone that's also just here at the bedside for um, extra help to run and go get things if they need to.